This is like a free ticket to success. Like, why are you even thinking about an option? I'm not at work stressing about paying for loans or worrying about my everyday necessities while trying to pay for school. I can just focus most of my time on my studying and actual putting in assignments and things like that. Welcome to A Seat at the Table, which is a show in which we discuss uh, issues, uh, challenges, and opportunities related to student, uh, faculty, staff experiences at the Alamo Colleges District. I'm uh, Mike Flores, and I serve as Chancellor of the Alamo Colleges District, and today we're going to be talking about tackling education inequality, in particular with a focus on free or reduced college and talking about our newest initiative to help students, which is called Promise to Promise. Promise to Promise is one of several initiatives that we have created in partnership, in particular, in this case, with uh, University of Texas at San Antonio, UTSA, for our students, uh, both for their academic and their personal well-being. And I'd like to introduce both of our guests. Uh, our first guest is Nia Houston, and she is a former Alamo Promise Scholar, graduated from Wagner High School, then went to San Antonio College, and then enrolled at UT San Antonio and is a business administration major. Um, Nia is actually one of the first eligible students to take part in this partnership with UTSA, Dr. Amy, uh, Promise to Promise. And so welcome, Nia, and thank you for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. And then I want to introduce uh, one of our, I think, uh, greatest and phenomenal partners. And it's just, um, it really is a privilege to be able to work with UTSA and in particular with yourself, Taylor Amy, um, who serves as the sixth president of UTSA. Thank you for being here. Yeah, Mike, it's a real pleasure to be here. I think this is my second time in uh, 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 attending your podcast and having these kinds of conversations with you. So I'm feeling rather special. All right. And uh, it's always a pleasure to, to talk about these things and share them with our community because you and I both believe deeply in our purposes. And Nia is a wonderful example of why we do what we do. I, I argue that I have the best job in the world. I think you do the same. And and I'm just deeply appreciative of all that we get to do with you. So uh, it's, it's great that we work together to advance education here in San Antonio because education is the immense equalizer. So we're I'm glad to be here. Well, good. And you can see now why we're so proud of our partnership with Dr. Amy and his team, the faculty and staff at UTSA, and in particular because it provides students like Nia with an opportunity. And so we're going to actually, um, I want to begin kind of set the context and then we'll hear about your student experience and journey and why in particular Promise to Promise is critical. Um, Taylor, and tell us a little bit about Bold Promise, and then we can kind of delve into the partnership that we're going to announce as well. Yeah, and uh, if my memory serves me, um, we were kind of contemplating these things jointly. I know I was involved in your your Promise program development back in the day, and we were thinking about the same thing. In fact, a number of institutions within the University of Texas system were all thinking along these lines. But back in 2019 we launched our Bold Promise program, and it was intended to serve students from Texas who had obviously graduated from Texas high schools, who had filled out a FAFSA, who had a certain grade point average, and we wanted to serve that community coming in who had family incomes below something like $55,000. And so we launched the program at that time, knowing full well that it was deeply, deeply impactful to that population because of the urgency around uh, student success tied intimately to this notion of affordability and, and, and debt aversion. So, so launching that in 2019 was impactful. And I can't remember when your program launched. It was right around the same time. Mm -hmm. And then I think uh, we kind of started to noodle together on how we could eventually produce something like a promise to promise, which we'll talk about in a minute. But uh, back uh, in 2021, uh, we were able to expand our Bold Promise program and increase the 
the, the, the family income level to $70,000. And that was made possible in part because of support that we got from the University of Texas system, the Promise Plus program that they instituted and are supporting all of the academic institutions within the UT system. And between that investment and then our being able to take our Mackenzie Scott gift of $40 million and put that into uh, Utimco and have it managed so that the investment income from that could be put towards financial aid. We've been able to to increase the impact of our 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 bold promise program to include now students who come from families that have incomes that are below seventy thousand dollars. So this has become deeply impactful for us. And as you know, frequently our students are collectively our students uh, care greatly about the cost of attendance and can't afford to to really uh, accrue too much debt. And so typically last dollars in are really important for successful um, outcomes relative to educational journeys. And so it's been an important strategy for us to have our, our, our Bold Promise program in place. Well, I think that's, and we're here, and essentially that partnership and uh, placing the, the importance on students and the student journey, and in particular, um, UTSA is our largest receiving university, yes. and we're proud of that. And, uh, you know, all of the courses that they take here transfer directly into their programs. And we've talked about why we do it, but uh, we're fortunate that Nia uh, Houston is here with us. And so I'm going to just ask you, how is your experience at uh, San Antonio College, and then how did you decide uh, to go to uh, UTSA? My experience at San Antonio College, it was smooth, easy. They were uh, super helpful, so I was thinking if I go to UTSA, it would be the same, and it ended up being just the same. And uh, whenever I got the call from Belinda, she was she was super helpful, so that's really... Wonderful. And then uh, when you got the call from uh, Belinda, right, yes. from UTSA in particular about Promise to Promise, what did you think about that? I honestly hung up only because I thought it was a scam, <laughs> I thought it was a scam call, but uh, I looked at my emails and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a real person. Let me call back. Mm -hmm. I'm and glad you called her back. I know. Uh, she she helped me. She was she told me that I can come to downtown UTSA campus and we can do like one on one. And as soon as I went into the office, they were overly helpful. She got on calls with different advisors and uh, she emailed different people. And she was like, we need to make sure that this process is easy for her. She's able to register for her classes and focus on nothing but school. And that's exactly what happened. Wow. Well, that's wonderful. And so where are you in your uh, academic journey at UTSA? Uh, right now, I am on path. To, I'm on the path to graduate this summer in 2023 with my bachelor's degree in business administration. And um, that's really it. That's exciting. So you graduated from San Antonio from SAC in 2021. 20, and you're going to graduate in 2023. Yes. So you're on time. You're early. I'm early. You're wow. early, yes. yeah. which is phenomenal. So that's great. And um, your hours from SAC to UTSA? Transferred over to UTSA easily. It was like I was super lucky to have that. Oh, okay. Well, that is wonderful. I think, uh, you know, one of the one of the wonderful things uh, probably that uh, – we're fortunate is just a relationship we've had with UTSA and other partners in what we call the transfer compact. But I mentioned the thousands of students we sent, uh, like Nia, to UTSA. And Taylor, tell us a little bit about about that and the um, just the work that you all have done on transferability. Yeah, you know, uh, if I look at our our very important relationship. Um, uh, about 40% of our undergraduate population come from two-year programs, and about half of them are from ACD. So you are a deeply impactful and strategic partner for us. And But it, it really reflects the fact that we have this very important shared mission about equity and educational attainment. But I... You know, back in 2017, 2018, maybe 2019, whenever that compact started, mm -hmm. we worked together as the two institutions, ACD and UTSA, on three big things. One was the dual admissions, dual enrollment program. The second was this early pathway from high school to a two-year to four-year completion so that that was a seamless process. And the third thing was this promise-to-promise -promise concept. And 
If you think about Promise to Promise, the power of being able to attend ACD for free and then to attend UTSA for free is a really, really important pathway to think about yes. considering the students that we serve. And so, Nia, I think uh, it's fair to say that you're going to be graduating essentially debt-free, which is a powerful notion. And I, what's also exciting to hear is that you have a bright future with HEB and in, in management. And uh, those are things that are really, really special. And those are the kinds of things that we want our Promise to Promise program to enable as we go forward. So your success, Nia, is our success yes. as educational institutions. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Dr. Amy mentioned, uh, and you talked about 2023 summer, right? You'll be crossing the stage yes. at the Alamo Dome. Coming out of the magic door. Or Convocation yep. Center. W wherever we do it. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll be crossing the stage, right? Yes. And uh, what does it look like after 2023? You're studying business administration. Yes. And uh, what would you like to do with that? Honestly, I'm trying to see if I'm going to get uh, my master's degree, but I'm on the pathway to just further my career with HEB, going, through the, uh, <laughs> going through the program to see if I can uh, be a leader within a company and just work my way up the ladder. Well, based on what you were sharing before we started the program, it sounds like they've already identified you as a f future leader and they're already investing in you and you haven't even graduated yet. So that's that's another aspect of why what we do is important. So your time spent with them really is a form of experiential learning because they're like already we want Nia. So, yes. so that's cool. They Very talk to me true. as much as they can. Good. I'm, I'm glad. What would be your advice? So graduating, hopefully debt free, right? From the promise to promise. Um, if I were to talk to the students coming in, I would just tell them this is like a free ticket to success. Like, why are you even thinking about an option? This is easy. Yeah. And what have you enjoyed most about your college experience? Um, well, since uh, being able to do the boat to boat promise, I'm not like at work stressing about like paying for loans or uh, worrying about my like everyday necessities while trying to pay for school. I can just focus most of my time on my studying and actual putting in assignments and things like that. So. Well, I think that's why we do what we do, right, yeah, Taylor? Yeah, plus, it, I don't know if the audience knows, but Nia's mom is sitting right outside the room <laughs> here, and she's filming this in real time and taking lots of pictures, and I bet if we had her sitting at the table sharing yes. her perspective, it would be one of great joy and delight and great pride in where Nia's trajectory is going. It's yes. very true. What would you What would you say to your mother? I know she's here, but if she were not here, what would you say to her about your, your academic journey? Uh, I would just tell her I appreciate her for everything things she's done for me and my brothers like I really do all the extracurricular extracurricular activities that she put us in is paying off and I want her to know that we're going to be successful because it's no other option the foundation that she laid out for us is just it's this it's it's a plan to be great in life so it's gonna happen go mom <laughs> go mom yes I think it, it really speaks right to having uh, one of your biggest champions yes and her being by your side and always you. supporting yeah, like always supporting she's you. helping out even when she's tired, she's always there. So I really appreciate her. Well, congratulations to you, Nia, and everything that you've done and achieved. Yeah. We're excited. You're, um, you were an Alamo Promise Scholar. Now you're a Promise to Promise uh, student and scholar and graduating, crossing the stage next summer. Um, so we're really thrilled that you're with us. And Taylor, yeah. thank you for coming back. Well, uh, final word, any? Yeah, I just want to say that um, Nia is the exact reason why, Mike, you and I do what we do. Yes. And, uh, uh, today just makes me smile and appreciate how how impactful an education is. Yeah, the power of an education is to transform lives, and Nia's life with with mom's deep love and support is is indicative of that impact. So uh, these are the kinds of days that I, I live for, and so I'm delighted to be here. And you have to have me come back again. We'll yes. have another conversation we'll about that. something else. <laughs> we'll definitely do that. Congratulations to you, Nia, yeah. and uh, you're one of your biggest or your biggest champion, right? Your mother. Yes. And so I think that that's uh, fortunate. And thank you, Taylor, for being with mm -hmm. us. And you bet, Mike. Thank um, you. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and thank you for listening and viewing with a seat at the table. Go runners. Thank you. <laughs>
Hello, welcome to Take Two with TPR in partnership with the Alamo Colleges District. I'm Camille Phillips, the education reporter at Texas Public Radio here in San Antonio. We are here with a one of the first Promise to Promise students and her mom to hear all about it. So why don't we just get right into this and have you both introduce yourselves. Do you want to start with you, Nia? Hello, I'm Nia Hello. Houston. Uh, I'm a UTS, I go to UTSA, I'm a business marketing major and and you're here with your mom sounds like you wanted to make sure she was part of the story huh yes she has made everything possible for me to be successful in my life so. perfect so why don't you tell us about yourself good afternoon i'm yvette butler i am nia houston's mother uh she <laughs> is my 21 year old daughter my oldest child and i'm very proud of her so first of all i just wanted to to hear about um about how you got started with college Yes, ma'am. I graduated high school from Karen Wagner in 2020, so I didn't get to walk the stage because it was COVID year. And then I decided to get a free education to receive my associate's degree. And I graduated with my associate's degree from San Antonio College. I decided to apply to UTSA. I got in and then I did the first year there. I received a call in the summer while I was at the pool from Belinda Harmon and she called me to let me know that they will be paying for my tuition. I didn't believe it, so I hung up, but then she called me back and then we got uh, everything under control and she made the process really easy for me to uh, be able to finish my school with UTSA. Yvette Butler, can you just talk about, um, you know, what was what were your college conversations like with, with your daughter, with your children growing up? So she's always been academic. She's always been able to find a good balance between school and work, uh, although the more she was getting, the higher she was getting up, of course, it started to become more of a challenge. And she was trying to figure out how she was going to be able to balance all those hours at work to help pay for school. When she called me and told me about it, she was like crying basically because she was like, Mom, I like this is going to pay for, like, I don't even know like where this came from, how my name came up, or what happened, but. I'm extremely grateful. So you um, first heard about Alamo Promise, I'm guessing, from your from your high school. Like, did you have a school counselor or, or how did that work? When I went to Karen Wagner, they put us all into the auditorium and they had people come talk to us. And then we all signed a, a contract saying that we uh, we were trying to go to uh, Alamo Colleges. And so you already had a lot of dual credits or something already at Wagner. And so that's why you were able to graduate in a year? Yes, ma'am. My mom always had us uh, going to school to get ahead. And then when I graduated high school, I already had like, I want to say you maxed out. Yeah, I had more than like 30 credits of college hours. And then that's why uh, when I went to SAC, it just took a year. Why um, did you always drive, want to drive that home for, for Nia? Say that um, get ahead as much as you can, do as much college credit as you can early on. Well, I, for all of my children, it's just, you know, if you if the opportunity is here, then you need to take advantage of it. There is no sitting still because that's just not preparing you for real life. Like just laying around, chilling, uh, doing nothing with your free time. Nia, yeah, how is that translated for you? Uh, that's, that's, that's how it's raised. Me and my brothers all have like, we have a natural born leadership. We try to take charge and we uh, we also take care of each other and we'll be successful in life still. And I know that was her main goal when she uh, raised us and everything like that. So, Can you just tell me about what your Alamo Promise experience was like? They really did everything for us. All you had to do is just show up. <laughs> like it's, it's they, uh, they help you pick out your classes. They help you sign the paperwork if you need help. They're uh, they're sending you emails all the time. They're uh, giving you references to call people, things like that. So it's an easy process. Honestly, they're giving you like the uh, they're giving you the key. All you got to do is turn the knob and go inside the door. You'll be able to be successful in any way. They give you different opportunities. They just have to take the chance, honestly. And if I can say something about that for parents, that is such a huge thing, especially. Well, if they if it's just that they work a lot, if they've never went to college for all those things, for them to have that resource and to feel comfortable and have somebody they can call and actually walk through them through that or assist them with it and make sure ensure that the end result is that they are able to start school. That is a big deal for kids that young, because that's I, I believe that's the reason why a lot of kids don't even go the extra step because they don't know what to do. They don't know who to email. If they don't get an email back 
immediately. They start losing hope, not wanting to move forward with it. And they're just like, oh, I'll just go to work or I'll do it later. And later never comes. So I do think the assistance that Alamo Promise gives is a huge deal and a benefit that helps them with that entire process. My son, like I told you, her younger brother is in Alamo Promise. He's not a school kid. He, he's never liked school but he's, he was treated the same exact way as Nia, except each child is different. So, you know, my expectations, although the same, realistically, I accepted different things from him. He's still in, he's in Alamo Promise right now for welding. He's a welder, but Alamo Promise, if he needs something, he's like, mom, I emailed him already. I took care. He's on top of it because they, they correspond and they assist him so frequently. And that's a good thing to point out that you can use Alamo Promise for, um, you know, specialized training. It doesn't have to be for like a traditional associates that you go on for a four year degree, right? Welding is a very much in demand career. Absolutely. That is great. Um, I was going to say, we're talking about promise to promise. So now um, you got that call saying, hey, there's this new program in effect. UTSA is also going to let you um, be able to go to our four year school, finish your full bachelor's without paying any tuition and fees, right? Yes, ma'am. Can you just talk about like what that means for you and your family to, to know that you're gonna have a bachelor's degree next year without any debt? Honestly, it's really like, I can't believe it. I can't, I have to see the, the pl I have to see the degree in my hand and just like, oh my gosh, this is for real. Like. I have no debt. I have my bachelor's degree. I'm 21 years old. I'm being. I'm going to be able to start my career with HEB, and just move up the ladder. It's just so. It's amazing. I'm really grateful. Like it's unbelievable, honestly. No, I'm just really happy because I don't have to ask my mom to help me pay for loans, or I have to uh, worry about when I first sign my uh, my contract to work that a large lump sum is going to go to school. It, it's just like, I'm just happy that I don't have to worry about all of these responsibilities, let alone me starting my adult life in the real world. So things like that. Thank you both so much. Uh, I want to just maybe end with uh, with you, uh, Ms. Butler, if you want to say any final words that you think uh, people should know about. Basically, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for students to be able to get ahead and uh, begin their actual adult life or careers, I'll say, debt free, because I, I know that I know women that have, women and men that have retired from their career and still were paying student loans. Thank you both so much. We've been speaking with Nia Houston and her mother, Yvette Butler, about the Promise to Promise program, which allows um, Alamo Promise students who have completed the two-year program at Alamo Colleges um, to transfer to UTSA and continue receiving a Promise scholarship with no tuition and fees to finish their bachelor's degree at UTSA. And that's a new program that started as a pilot pilot this year and we'll go um, make it be eligible to all Alamo Promise graduates next fall 2023 transferring into University of Texas at San Antonio. This is Take Two at TPR. I'm Camille Phillips, the education reporter at Texas Public Radio. Um, this has been in partnership with the Alamo Colleges District. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.